All right, there's been a few people asking how to do 1RC track in a mobile version. So this is not totally done yet, so I'll start here. These, I just took plywood, a few layers, almost to the height of the two by four. Just cut your corners and then use the, use it in, that first one as a template so that all your other ones are exactly the same. Our track's 30 feet long. So three two by fours at eight foot and then one shorter one. Same thing on the other end with the cut two by fours or the cut plywood. Those are just a pattern off the ones from the other end of the track. The center piece is carpet from Lowe's over top of more plywood that was left over from cutting the, the ends. So there's two layers here three layers in the middle, one layer at the very end so that the cars can actually get up on it and not break things. The carpet is from Lowe's, Needle Bond, black ice carpet. Seems to have really good traction. And then my sides and middle of the walls is this plastic that they use for late models. I'll put a link in the description. Um, you just, it comes 22 inches wide, 25 foot long. We cut it with a handsaw because we didn't know what to cut it with and we ended up with enough strips to go all the way around the outside and the center, which I'll show you here in a minute. This is the lap count system. That's going to stretch across the track here and then I have a monitor set up so that I can do mobile everything. So monitor printer, laptop will go there, and then I'll get everything hooked up and bring you back in a minute. Alright, I think it's been like two weeks, if we're being honest, but here's what the wall's on. I actually cut them a little bit of short, that way if somebody gets going down the straightaway, it's got some give in it and doesn't just break the car, but there are drywall screws holding it. And then I just overlap, and then I'm actually going to cut them to the length of the 2x4s. That way I can just carry the sections in and not have to take it apart and screw it on there every single time. I do have to cut a small section for that. But the loop going across. And then the computer set up, just have a screen. So this is what you'd be looking at from the driver's stand, pretty much. Driver's stand being the floor beside the track. Now I just have a screen, camera so I can do video, printer, another computer, and then all the wires are tie wrapped up there, or zip ties or whatever you want to call them, cable ties. External speaker in the box and then duct tape. And then when you're all done, take the plastic back off, roll it back up like I had it, stack the two by fours, and everything goes right into the trailer, pretty simple. Once it's all in the trailer tonight, I'll make another little thing to show you it doesn't take up much room. You just need a, the 12 foot length is the hardest part for the actual carpet, but the two by fours are all eight foot, so we'll bring you back in a minute and show you again. There's two by fours, plywood corners, centers, lap counter, carpet in the middle of the trailer. My car's up front, wagon full of parts, and the display with the monitor. The monitor's in the car. Three, four, seven, five, one, ahead, I'm sorry, I'm four, two, five, four, three, seven, eight. 